Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to teach your cat to come when called. Training your cat to come when called can be a useful behavior in many situations, such as when you need to bring your cat indoors, or if you are in a public place and want your cat to come to you. Before we start, it's important to keep in mind that every cat is different and may learn at a different pace. Be patient and consistent, and always reward your cat for good behavior. Now, let's go through the steps on how to teach your cat to come when called. Choose a specific word or phrase to use as a recall command. It's best to choose something short and easy to say, such as here, come, or kitty. Use the same recall command consistently. Don't switch between different words or phrases, as this can confuse your cat. Use a high-pitched, cheerful tone of voice when calling your cat. Cats are more likely to respond to a happy, enthusiastic voice, as it signals to them that something good is about to happen. Use a hand gesture as part of the recall command, such as waving or clapping. This can help get your cat's attention and make it easier for them to understand what you want. Avoid using negative words or phrases as a recall command, as these can create negative associations for your cat. For example, no, bad, or stop should not be used as recall commands. Start training in a quiet room with no distractions. Call your cat's name and use the recall command. When your cat comes to you, immediately reward them with a treat or a toy. Start training when your cat is hungry or in a playful mood, as this will make it more likely that they will come to you. Use a treat or toy that your cat loves as a reward. This will motivate them to come to you and associate the recall command with something positive. When your cat comes to you, give them the treat or toy and lots of praise. This will reinforce the behavior and encourage your cat to come to you again in the future. If your cat doesn't come to you when called, don't chase after them or try to grab them. Instead, wait a few seconds and then try again. Chasing after your cat or trying to grab them can make them feel scared or threatened, which can make training more difficult. Don't reward your cat every time they come to you, as this can make them dependent on a reward and less likely to come when called without one. Instead, gradually reduce the frequency of rewards as your cat becomes more reliable at coming when called. Practice this behavior several times a day for short periods of time. Gradually increase the distance between you and your cat, and also add in some mild distractions, such as a toy or a treat on the floor. Gradually increase the distance between you and your cat as your cat becomes more reliable at coming when called. This will help your cat understand that the recall command means to come to you no matter where they are. As you increase the distance, you can also add in some mild distractions, such as a toy or a treat on the floor. This will help your cat learn to focus on you and the recall command even when there are other things going on around them. When introducing distractions, start with low-level distractions and gradually increase the difficulty as your cat becomes more reliable at coming when called. Don't overwhelm your cat with too many distractions at once, as this can make training more difficult. When your cat is consistently coming to you when called, start practicing in different rooms and locations. This will help your cat generalize the behavior and understand that the recall command means to come to you no matter where they are. When your cat is consistently coming to you when called in a quiet room with no distractions, it's time to start practicing in different locations and with more distractions. Start with a different room in your home, and gradually move on to outdoor locations, such as your backyard or a park. As you practice in different locations, make sure to use the same recall command consistently and reward your cat every time they come to you. This will help your cat understand that the recall command means to come to you no matter where they are. When practicing in outdoor locations, it's important to keep your cat on a leash or in a secure enclosure to ensure their safety. As you practice in different locations, you can also gradually increase the level of distractions. For example, you can start with a toy or a treat on the ground, and gradually add in more distractions, such as people walking by or other animals. It's also a good idea to teach your cat a stop or stay command, which can be useful in situations where you don't want your cat to come to you right away. Always remember to reward your cat for good behavior and never punish them for not coming when called. This can create negative associations with the recall command and make training more difficult. Use treats, toys, and praise as rewards for good behavior. This will motivate your cat to come to you and associate the recall command with something positive. Make sure to reward your cat immediately after they come to you. This will help your cat understand that the recall command means to come to you and that good things happen when they do. Don't use food as the only reward, as this can make your cat dependent on a reward and less likely to come when called without one. Mix in toys and praise as rewards as well. Gradually reduce the frequency of rewards as your cat becomes more reliable at coming when called. This will help your cat learn to come when called even when there isn't an immediate reward. 
never punish your cat for not coming when called. This can create negative associations with the recall command and make training more difficult. Instead, try to understand why your cat didn't come and make any necessary adjustments to your training approach. That's it. With consistent practice and positive reinforcement, your cat will soon learn to come when called. Remember to be patient and have fun training with your feline friend. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.